everyone. Today I'm here to talk about a very interesting topic and that is serotonin in our body. Did you know that 95% of serotonin that is being produced in our body is actually in our gut, in our GI tract? And the rest of it, maybe 5-10% to 10 of the rest of the serotonin is actually produced in the brain. The reason why I find this information quite interesting is because it is only nowadays that modern medicine has started saying, oh, there is a big brain-gut connection, but this is something Ayurveda has talked about for many, many thousands of years and thousands of years ago too. And how? You will see that serotonin is a very important hormone that helps um, with our sleep, our mood, our, um, how can I say, digestion, uh, our bone health, and many other such functions. And interestingly, all these functions are actually vata-related or space and air related in the body and of course Ayurveda has forever forever said that if you want to bring changes in the body in the brain in the mind or anything like that first focus on the GI tract so something that modern medicine has started talking about now that you know look into your gut if you want to bring changes in the brain Ayurveda has talked about it for many 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 years in fact, in Ayurveda, we have this particular proverb or the saying that goes as um, uh, just the way the earth revolves around the sun, our own lives revolve around our digestive fires or our gut. And it's interesting that it is in the gut where 90% or 95% of serotonin is being produced, which is a very important hormone to bring that balance, that um, happiness, if you want to call it, that kind of, uh, you know, health back to the body. So going forward, anytime if you're looking to bring changes in the brain, don't just think about the brain or the nervous system, actually think about your gut or the GI tract. So this is what Ayurveda has said, that if any changes in the brain and the nervous system, even conditions like rheumato uh, not rheumatoid arthritis, but Parkinson's or multiple sclerosis, do not just look into the brain or the nervous system, go back down and look at your gut, your GI tract, and see what is happening over there and bring changes accordingly. So, yes, I wanted to make this uh, short video while I'm working today. I'm here at my work because I found this uh, information quite interesting that people do talk about helping improve or increase serotonin in the body, but then how? According to Ayurveda, we have to go back and look at our GI tract or vata dosha in the body to help bring such changes. I hope you found this um, very quick video today interesting and useful and if you do have any comments or anything to talk about this please do leave it down in the comments. Thank you, have a great day.